So yeah, me making this video and making it public is probably a huge mistake. But what I need you to know, I saw your apology. Now, I didn't see it on their program. I saw it on a program called To the Slaughter by a gentleman that calls himself uh, Learn to Code Live. He teaches coding um, live, of course, that's hence the name of the channel. Uh, but I saw your apology and I, I, you were right when you did tell me to, you know, you were very polite to me throughout our time together talking and whatnot. And I understand that you were angry and that's why I tried very hard not to overreact when you said the things that you said. Okay, now unfortunately I overreacted prior to that. I understand that I got you angry and I did, I did set that right in a comments and in, in the uh, community tab. And I think that it, it needs to be set right publicly in a video. Okay, yes, technically speaking, what was said is, what was said by my friend was, I will eat you with chocolate. That's what the screenshot does say. Uh, however, that is easily taken out of context. It was not what people think. Um, I unfortunately took it out of context, out of jealousy. And I'll explain that in a second to you, my dear. Um, give me a second here. So what happened is my friend and I, who I hope is watching, uh, we would joke uh, continuously about her Andean heritage, her uh, Incan heritage, her Incan ancestry. We would make jokes about cannibalism and human sacrifice and all sorts of things about the Inca. Um, and this was not uncommon. So the comment, quote, I will eat you with chocolate, actually referred to a cannibalism joke. It, it probably had other meanings too, but it was mostly a joke about cannibalism. It was not a sexualized joke. I sexualized it out of jealousy. Okay, and the reason I sexualized it out of jealousy, and I want you to understand this because I know you're watching. When you were going after me in the live stream explaining how much you loved that gentleman and blah, 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 of course I'm going to get jealous and of course I'm going to say things I regret. That was the whole goal of the agitation, okay? I fell for it too, okay? I'm not immune to it either. I'm an idiot too. And I hope you did, and I'm a bigger idiot than you are, okay? But I hope you did look at my community tab. I hope you did see the things that I was going through. And this has been for years, the harassment. And I'm not making it up. And yes, you are the woman of my dreams. And I don't believe that you are going out with anyone. In fact, I think the reason that it died down is you're, you told them to, you know, get lost. And I think you did the right thing. Okay? I think that's what happened. And I think you understand that I really am your friend. And I will stick up for you no matter what. Okay? And I want to let you know, I understand. You have to understand. You've given me chance after chance after chance after chance after chance to pursue a friendship with you. Okay? You have. You've given me... I don't even know how many chances, 15, 20, <laughs> something like that. And I think it's because that you really did value our friendship. Number one, you valued our friendship. Number two, I think you did feel sorry for me. I do believe that. Okay. Um, yeah, I would continually make the mistake of trying to push a sexual dialogue with you. That's me. Okay. I admit my mistake. Okay. And I don't know if I could ever stop that. But I do know that out of everyone that I know of, you're safest with me. Besides your family, you're safest with me. I am absolutely no threat to you. I, I might say some stupid things, but I'm absolutely no threat to you. And I think that you know that, and I think you know how much I care about you. Okay? I'm sorry that this stuff got to where it got to, okay? And I'm glad that I, I'm pretty sure that you know what's going on now. 
I wanted to wait until things died down a bit to make a public video and a public apology. And I'm sorry that you said the things that you said, because I know that it probably hurt your feelings to tell me the things that you told me, like when you told me to kill myself and things like that because you were angry. I'm sure after you said it, I know that when I get angry and I say mean things to people that I didn't mean, I know that it, it makes me upset later. And I'm sure that it upset you to say those things after the fact. And I'm sorry that happened, okay? I do really care about you. I, I have tried to be so understanding during this situation, okay? And I have been, and I think that's why I'm making this apology video to you, okay? Look, I'm always going to be your friend. There's nothing that's going to make me stop being your friend. And you know how you said that I always left the door open uh, in case you want me back? Now, mind you, as far as I know, we've never been together. <laughs> so you can't really want me back if we've never been together. But what you also need to take in mind, of course, I'm going to leave the door open for you as long as I'm single. Because I, I want to be with you. That's the truth. Um, now, I don't think you want to be with me, and I, I'm pretty sure you never wanted to be with me. I think that you, you just didn't know how to tell me that without hurting my feelings. And I understand that, and I respect that. I think that you went out of your way over years to not hurt my feelings. And that you even... And I don't believe that you misled me or led me on. A lot of people are saying you led me on. I don't think you led me on. I think sometimes you reciprocated certain things because you thought that I would end our friendship if you didn't reciprocate certain things. And um, I don't think you were purposely leading me on. I think you just didn't want to end our friendship. Because, look, if you remember correctly, at one time our friendship actually did mean something to both of us. Okay? And, look, it is ultimately my fault that everything turned out the way it did. And, you know, people are saying I'm a narcissist, I'm a psychopath, I'm this, I'm that. You know the other end of it. You know, when people are basically inflating every negative aspect of me, which is publicly seen, they're, they're ignoring any positive things about my nature. You know the positive parts of my nature. You know the positive parts of me that I express to you. You know the negative parts of me that I have expressed to you. I have expressed both more positive and more negative things to you on a personal level. You know more about me than these people. You probably know more about me than my ex-girlfriend does, honestly, if you want to know the truth with how open I was with you. And uh, that's the truth. So I take full responsibility for how this mess turned out, okay? But the one thing that I'm very happy that didn't happen, I never lost faith in you. I got angry a couple times. I, I had a couple freakouts that I'm not proud of, okay? And that was based off of jealousy. And it was based off of me lacking the insight that you were being misled. Although I, I kind of knew you were being misled, it just didn't, I didn't care because I was so angry and jealous at the time. And uh, anger and jealousy is not something that looks good on me, okay? That's the truth. Um, it doesn't look good on anyone. And I fully accept your apology. In fact, I feel bad because I know that probably hurt your feelings to even say those things. And I'm sorry that you said those. And I'm sorry that you said those out of anger because of the things I said. But we were both misled heavily. And we were both manipulated heavily. I wasn't as bad at being manipulated because I kind of knew what was going on because I've been dealing with it a lot longer than you. But yeah, yeah, we look like a couple of idiots, but we're not, okay? We're not the idiots here, okay? Um, and we were easily taking advantage of because we were emotionally invested in the whole thing. And no, I, I'm sorry that I purposely took, I purposely took out of context that you know, that comment that you made when we were joking about your Incan heritage and things like that, okay? 
Okay, and I didn't take out of context the whole roast beef thing when we were also joking about cannibalism and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, uh, we've made a lot of jokes like that. Uh, we care a lot about it. Uh, we care a lot about one another. I think that that goes without saying. Um, whether you're still angry at me or not, I don't know. Okay, and look, if we did become friends again where we were conversing again, I'd probably make the same stupid mistake and probably sexualize the dialogue all over again. It's me. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay? You know me. Um, and I regret that. There's something about me that I can't help myself when it comes to you. I always end up bringing that stuff up. But that doesn't mean that I would ever do anything with you that you didn't want done. As I've said a number of times, look, just because I want to do certain things with you doesn't mean I'm going to do them. Okay? I respect you. And I'm never going to find another girl like you. Ever. There's, they don't exist. Like, that was, that's what was funny is the one idiot was saying that they're importing girls that look like you all the time. Number one, no, they're not importing too many girls that look like you. You look absolutely amazing. But number two... It's not what you look like. Number one, there's a couple aspects of you that are that don't come on your average uh, Hispanic, uh, with, uh, Latina model. Number one, your 148 IQ, that that costs extra. That's that's that doesn't come factory made usually. And number two, you are an extremely gentle, caring person. Okay. That doesn't come factory direct either. Okay? These are all things that you have to pay extra for. But with you, they come straight off they come straight off the assembly line. You were made right to begin with. Okay? And that's the way I look at you. You are an extremely special person. And yeah, right now I am I'm, uh, I'm looking for another uh, Latina to do what I wanted to do with you. And I wouldn't have done that prior to meeting you. And when you say things about how I have issues with race and all that, not as much as I used to. You changed a lot of things about me by making arguments that made sense. I can't argue with somebody that makes sense. And for people to say that I fetishized uh, Pyrrhonism or justicialism, I did not. I did not. I was presented with data that makes sense and that meshes with my own outlook far better than National Socialism. And I took that data and I said, this looks like something I like. But honestly, as you probably know, I consider myself to be a Teddy Roosevelt progressive, a Theodore Roosevelt progressive. I embrace new nationalism. I like justicialism. But justicialism, while it does fit the United States better than National Socialism, nothing quite fits the United States as well as Theodore Roosevelt-style progressivism. If I came to Argentina and became an Argentine citizen, which probably would never happen, I would embrace a more, the, the more conservative strain of Peronism. Because if I was an Argentine citizen, I would embrace that which fits my nation the best and that's what fits my nation the best if that was to be the case but in the united states no i believe it's a teddy roosevelt style progressivism and new nationalism and uh yeah that's about it i don't i don't fetishize anything about anything and i didn't fetishize you i never made i never this is the thing and i'm being 100 percent honest i think you have a very childlike outlook on life and i find it refreshing and I find it really cute. And I think that it would be a, you would be loads of fun to hang out with. I think that you have a very refreshing outlook on life that really makes me happy. It really makes me happy to see somebody with the outlook of life, on life that you have. And I think that is part of what makes you so special. It's what makes you special to me. Um, and yet, yeah, despite all this crap, you know, things happen. And this was one very minor transgression on your part. 
a very minor transgression. It only looks big because it was compounded by a number of third parties. But honestly, compared to the nonsense I've pulled over the years, this was nothing. So the reason I'm apologizing is you deserve my apology. Okay, you know how many chances you gave me at re rekindling our friendship and reaffirming our friendship. And I squandered it every time. And if I was giving another chance, I probably would screw it up again. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I do love you as I think you're a very special person. I think you're better than most. You're better than anyone I've ever met. And you're better than me. And I'm sorry that you were put through what you were put through recently. And I didn't intend for that to happen with the videos I was making. I intended for those videos to hopefully get you to talk to me. And I didn't even, you have to understand because of the harassment I was receiving in my emails and other places and in the comment section of my videos from these trolls, I really did think that somebody in Argentina was going to quote, uh, F me up if I came down there and all this other stuff. I didn't know what you were going through. I really didn't. I really did think that you needed my help. And it sounds crazy, because I probably am a little bit crazy, uh, but it, it, my intentions were pure with us. My intentions were to meet you, to further our friendship, to eventually have a relationship with you, and I did plan on marrying you, and I did say I would sign a prenuptial agreement. If you watch the videos that I made you, I did say I would sign a prenuptial agreement so I couldn't touch any of your money. I don't want your money. I only wanted your companionship. That was all I wanted. And everything got taken out of context. And in fact, I started watching the, the uh, interviews with you and you were told a lot of things that weren't true. I never, ever said you were after my money. And I want to be very clear, and I have said this, I think, in a video, and I think I've said this in the community tab also. There was a time when you were having a hard time uh, in college, and I offered you, I think it was $150, 150 United States dollars. And I think I explained to you, I said, that's not even really a week's worth of groceries for me up here, so don't worry about it. Just, you know, take it. And you didn't want my money. You told me you didn't want my money, and you didn't take my money if you remember that, and you told me that you didn't want my money because I was poor, and you know, and I'm not going to get into the other stuff, but you didn't want my money because I was poor, and you didn't want to take my money, and the other thing is that you, uh, there's never been an exchange of money between the two of us, there's never been a talk about a green card between the two of us, the plan was, the original plan was for me to move to Argentina, not for you to move up here. In fact, I don't even see why you would want to move up here. Um, and I don't think you ever had any plans to move up here. And you certainly had no plans of using me for any type of green card situation or anything like that. In fact, you've never had any plans of using me, and I've never said you had any plans of using me. Um, I do think that I gave you emotional support, and I may have mischaracterize that as you using me for emotional support, but I didn't mean that. I, I purposely gave you that emotional support because I, I thought you needed it and you did need it. And I, I willingly gave you emotional support because I didn't think anybody else was. And I thought that you, you're a really sweet girl at the time. I probably thought you were a really sweet kid. Uh, and I, I wanted to help you. And that's why I did some of the things that I did. Like people make fun of how I heart react at 10 years of your photos. If you remember what that was about is you were feeling like you were ugly for some reason. I didn't know why, but you're certainly not ugly. And I wanted to make you feel good. And I did make you feel good. Remember? And I even said, I'm like, look, I'm sorry if this is creepy. I know it's a little weird, but I'm do ba 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 And you said it, it wasn't a problem and you didn't find it creepy. Okay, and it did make you feel good. Okay, and that's the kind of things that I wanted to do with you. I wanted to, I wanted us to mutually support one another. I think that we both have a value system that goes beyond that which the average person has. Both you and I have a 
very unique value system where we put each other first and we put our families first. And look, I'm glad that your family is there for you. My family's not there for me. I put my family first my whole life and look where it landed me. I used to have money. I used to be, I used to be somebody and now look at me. But I'm glad that your family is there for you and that you put your family first. And that's one of the reasons I think that you and I, I want it what I, I wanted what I knew I could have if I found somebody else that put me first and put themselves first and put our relationship first. And that's what I saw in you is I saw somebody with the same unique value system that I had. And that's why you're so important to me. And that's why I always keep the door open. Okay. It's because I never wanted to lose you. And I did lose you. And yeah, it's probably because I, I just, for whatever reason, I could not, I could not accept the fact that you did not want me in that way. And I'm sorry, because you gave me so many, so many chances to reaffirm our friendship, to uh, fix our friendship. And I screwed it up every time. And like I said, if you did give me another chance, I probably would screw it up again. But I do always consider us friends. And I do love you. I really do love you. And I think you know that. And that's all for this video. And when this video gets taken out of context, which it will, I hope you're watching the original video that I'm making you here. Okay? I hope you have the sense to watch my videos now instead of watching what gets chopped up and all that. Because if you're not watching my videos, you're not hearing what I'm saying. You're hearing pieces of what I'm saying. Take care of yourself and know I love you. You are very important to me and you will always be very important to me. I love you a lot.